Good evening, everybody. It's Coop here for a impromptu Prime Cuts. And uh, on tonight's Prime Cuts, we're going to be talking coffee, in a particular cigar coop coffee. Um, so I'm pretty excited that uh, I had an opportunity to partner with the folks at Lane Coffee to get two coffee blends developed. Um, these were really, I mean, for all you've heard it in the cigar business before, it's um, the idea of having a personal blend. This was kind of an idea of having a couple of personal coffees. Um, and now I had an opportunity to share this with folks. Um, this is not an infomercial. This is not a sales pitch, although I'd love for you to buy the coffee so we can keep this going. Um, but I'll talk a little about why I did this project, because there are some unique things I think that I'm looking to do with this project. And I know there's a lot coming on about coffee, um, and I'll get into that a little. Um, but let me tell you what we're going to be doing tonight. Um, we have two coffee blends. Um, the first, this is, let's see if I can get the camera, Coop's Corner Blend. Uh, we're actually going to brew up some of this live tonight. And the second one is the now sold out, it is sold out, the Rumor Free Teaser Free Dark Roast Blend. And yes, that it's sold out. I've been told from uh, Lane Coffee we will be getting more of this in. But again, this is not meant to be an infomercial, but uh, what we're going to do tonight is just talk a little about, about this project. In particular, we'll talk about the Kona blend tonight, and then once this coffee is a little more readily available, the Rumor Free Teaser Free, we'll do another one and talk about that. But um, why don't we kind of, before we do it, we'll kind of get the coffee going as far as this goes. And what I have here is, uh, I'm going to do this because I'm an old school guy. You know, as uh, my friend Master Sensei, my friend Jack from the dojo say, you know, I'm, I'm a green visor guy. I use the typewriter. So we're going to go old school tonight. We're going to go with the stovetop percolator. We're going to brew this up in the stovetop percolator. Um, love this way of just doing coffee. Um, I have the, the actual ninja back here, which does a great job. But you know what? This is still the way to go. And what we'll do is we're going to fill this up with some coffee. We've got some cold filtered water in here. So I'm not going to spill the water, but there's nice cold filtered water. And we're going to fill up this basket with, with some of the Kona blend. And then I'll talk a little about the project. Um, get a look at the coffee. I mean, it smells, it's fresh. I mean, and these guys, they roast it on demand when you order it from Lane Coffee. You go to cigarcoop.com, order the coffee. Um, and the beans, it's a nice, see if I can get that without spilling it, a nice medium roast. And I'm getting the hang of this camera here, so. It's a nice medium roast. These are not going to be dark, oily beans like the dark roast has. But uh, we're going to look at the nice, uh, nice medium roast beans going. Uh, again, we're old school here. This is not where, where uh, we do everything old school, green visor and typewriter. So as far as what we've done, hand grinder. The hand grinder we've done with. No electric grinders. We do everything by hand here. And you want it for when using the percolator, you want a nice coarse, you want it a little more coarse ground. Because if it's too fine, it will go there. But look at that. And again, I, I'm terrible at angling this camera. So I gotta learn a little more about doing that. But there you can see it. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take it and we're gonna dump that in there right now. And Put the top on, everything's measured perfectly. And what we will do is we will brew up some of Coop's Corner Blend. We'll see how this goes here. So we'll turn on the burner, the electric stove here, and put this on high for a bit. And I'll talk a little more about the project here. Because uh, there's been a, you know, it was interesting when I when I created the when I kind of came created the project, um, it gave, it got a little attention from some folks in the cigar business this week, and um, I, I want to talk about a little why I did it. So again, I kind of mentioned I, at the beginning a little bit of the idea of having a personal coffee blend, and um, I wanted to do that. And I'll, when I talk about the Kona blend, I'll say there, there was some specifics I was looking for with that. And I had an opportunity to, to work with a little bit from Lane Coffee to do that, which was really, really exciting. But an honest answer is as well is, you know, with brands like myself, with Cigar Coop, the primetime shows, you know, the idea is we, won't, we don't 
we don't have subscriptions we sell. We do sell some sponsorships, but ultimately what we need to do is we need to also build brand awareness from time to time. And you know, one thing that we've done is we've tried to create, instead of taking ads out in magazines, I've tried to create some fun projects. Um, this is something that, that, you know, when I was with my prior show, so we, we really didn't do this as much. We did some t-shirts, but I felt we didn't do enough fun projects to kind of at the same time promote the brand awareness. So the first one we came out with was our first edition challenge point. And the guy there is, we're not charging for these challenge points. We're not looking. These are gifts that we give out to people who see us, who support us, and it's a thank you. But it builds up our brand awareness. I didn't expect the reaction I got with these challenge coins that people were, were, were kind to put these coins on their Facebook page and take pictures with them. I mean, and there are tons of people who are doing it. I mean, my buddy Pete's doing it. Uh, you know, I've seen uh, Suicide Blonde has done it. I think she, I saw her out there. James Brown did say, I'm reading a hundred, Joe Schmo. I mean, all these people, did, to put this coin out there, I didn't expect that, and it helps. Believe me, every one of these pictures counts because it's, it's brand awareness. Um, and we need that brand awareness because, again, that's how we keep the brand going. We get viewers. That leads to sponsors. I don't have to charge a subscription for what we do. And I'm able to invest much more as we build up Cigar Coop. So there was one angle. The coffee, I'll be honest with you, was another idea I had. Where, again, if I can take something and share it, it has our name, it has our branding on it, and something I believe in, then hey, then it's a win-win again that we're getting the brand awareness out there. So the idea of what I wanted to do with this is I wanted these coffees with Lane Coffee to be um, coffees that were really good coffee at an affordable price. And the pricing on these coffees, um, you know, you, no, this is not going to, this is more expensive than your Folgers or your Maxwell House. But this is some premium coffees that you get. And I'm going to talk a, a little about it tonight. So, as you can see, we have the, the percolator starting to gain a little steam. That's going to take a little time. Hopefully, I'll be able to ramble on between now and then. But that is starting to boil, um, and we'll have some really good coffee, hopefully, to enjoy. I just realized that I didn't get a cup, so I'm going to have to go and get a cup at some point. But, um, so let's talk a little about Coop's Kona Bud. Um, so Kona Coffee is something I discovered in Hawaii when I went there in 2007. Now, for folks that don't know, I don't drink a lot of caffeine. I'll be honest with you. Um, I try to really stay off the caffeinated drinks. Um, and I went to Hawaii, and this, you know, the story goes, I wanted to get some pure decaf Kona. And when I went into a couple places, I was laughed at because they said, they weren't laughing at me because of decaf. What they explained to me was that a really good decaffeination process, they have to actually take the beans, ship them stateside, go through the decaffeination process stateside, and then come back, bring the coffee back to Hawaii. So you really weren't getting an authentic taste. So they advised me to go and you know get Kona coffee that was caffeinated. Um, it's not a very heavy coffee, but it was something I, I really, really enjoyed. And as a result, I, uh, I, I kind of really, and especially the pure Kona coffee. Um, now this is not pure Kona coffee. This is a blend, Coop's Kona blend. So it, it, there's other coffee in there, I'll, I'll talk about that as well. Fast forward, uh, I went to Nicaragua in 2012, and I fell in love with the coffee there. Nicaraguan coffee. Had that nice chocolatey coffee. It didn't have the acidity that you know I, I wanted as far as the coffee goes. So um, as far as this, it was like a win-win scenario, uh, you know, in terms of I had things in mind. Um, as I worked with Logan on the project, I kind of told him some things I had in mind. But I didn't say, to be honest with you, I didn't go and say mix Kona with Nicaragua. He kind of figured it out from how I was talking to him about some of the the concepts I wanted. Um, and that's basically what he did. He took some, he took some cone coffee um, and he took some Nicaraguan beans and he brought these things together and created a medium roast. So this is not a, uh, a, dark, a dark roast per se, uh, but it's a medium roast. Now, you know, I was talking to Logan and the interesting thing that I've noticed about that is um, a lot of people tend to, um, a lot of people tend to, in the, in the cigar business, they like um, the dark roast, you know, and I, and I think there's a fair thing to say. I think when I had, for example, I think I'm in that category as well, that I'm more of a dark roast guy as opposed to a, um, a medium roast guy. So 
I didn't expect that I would really like the medium roast. Um, so concurrently, what I had Logan do, and I'm just going to scoot over here and try to get my cup. Actually, I'll hold off on that. But um, what I'm going to do is, you know, I actually asked Logan, hey, can you experiment with a, a, dark, a dark coffee, um, a, um, a dark roast? And again, I didn't kind of put parameters saying I wanted Nicaraguan and, um, get that. I didn't say I wanted Nicaraguan, nor did I say I wanted um, corn, but I kind of said I want this dark roast. So he kind of came back with this other thing, which was just fantastic. Um, it was a combination of Mexican, Mexican coffee, and Sumatra. Low in acidity, again, kind of outside my mind. I didn't want something that was very acidic. I didn't want something that was floral. Um, and what he did is these, these beans, they come from the high altitude uh, areas of Mexico and Sumatra. Um, and they, he actually called this uh, strictly hard bean. Um, and the reason why it's strictly hard bean is these are grown at high altitudes. And um, because of that, um, they're grown at high altitudes. They're able to withstand the heat of putting them on a, to a dark roast. So in the end, that's where the rumor free teaser free coffee came. I love this one so much. I said to Logan, I'm putting the rumor free teaser free game on this because uh, that's my mantra. It's a philosophy. Uh, I take a lot of shit for it from people in both a serious and non serious way. Um, and I think, you know, but that's, that's fine because um, I'm glad that people challenge, challenge it, but. It, it's a philosophy that I do, and it, I love this dark roast so much that this was what I wanted on it, was the rumor free, teaser free. And judging from the reaction, it sold out. Um, so I actually tried to put order some more for some people today, and I couldn't do it. So um, we're, we're going to hold this one off so until more people can get it right now. You know, I was honest, too. I said to Logan, you know, I didn't know how these coffees were going to sell, so let's look at... Um, Let's look at possibly not going too overboard. I, I'm not a coffee guy. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not even a cigar maker. I'm, I'm a media guy. Looking again to just get some brand awareness, so to speak, as far as that goes. So that was the origins of the project. You know, I saw some comments from Steve Saka, and there's, you know, with Steve Saka, I love Steve Saka, but there's like a group of the same 10 people that seem to love to kind of debate with him. Um, on that, and I just, uh, and actually, I'm not knocking the 10 people who like to debate with him on that, um, but I was like, yeah, I didn't feel like really getting into an online debate with this piece, um, but look, Steve was just kind of wondering if he should be getting into the coffee business, because other people were getting it. I kind of thought it was odd, because my coffee had just come out the same day, so it was kind of interesting, but no, this is, this is completely different than a cigar company uh, putting out coffee. So this is, like I said, this was brand awareness for me, not a money maker. I'm looking to kind of keep, keep our momentum going with Cigar Coop and, um, you know, um, going that way. Now, uh, my friend Sue was like, well, how do we get the coffee? You just go to Cigar Coop, and on the menu there's a coffee option, and hit coffee and order here. Except you can't get the rumor free, teaser free, but you can't get the Coop's Cone of Blend. So, um... And I'll make sure I put something in the video when this is done with the link, so it'll be easy peasy to find. So yeah, again, this was some this was some brand awareness that I did with. Um, as far as um, I think it's a little different than what some of these other companies are looking to do to maybe diversify a bit with um, with things. Um, you can see here if you, can, you can't really see it, but the coffee's perky. So there's a little bubble. Uh, I'm not going to lift this because it's kind of hot, but I'm just going to kind of simmer this down a bit. Um, which is what you want to do when this thing starts to, and that's kind of the perking where it's actually now boiling and bubbling over and you can see a nice smoke starting to really uh, make its way there. So we'll kind of keep that going as far as that goes. So again, not a coffee maker. Don't, don't, you know, I don't expect to be in the coffee business. I don't expect to be, um, we may do some coffee reviews. I'll never review my own coffee. So, you know, so the other thing I'll kind of say that I kind of found odd though was why is coffee such a lightning rod? When I don't understand what this big deal is. Okay, and I've seen, I've heard other people talking about the cigar people getting into coffee. Um, and here's what, what I'll say is how long have cigar people been making T-shirts and caps um, 
Seriously, how long has cigar people been making T-shirts and caps? It, you know, and, and how many sell them on their website, too? Some of them actually will sell them on their website. Some of them will do what I'm doing, which is um, more of a, um, more of, again, kind of brand awareness, which you give out at events and things like that. So, but again, I, I don't understand why this has become a lightning rod in the cigar business, so to speak, because as far as what we're doing with, with this coffee, so what if, if a cigar company wants to put out a coffee and they can kind of complement it with their product, what, what's the big deal? I, I guess I don't get it. Um, and I'm not claiming I'm going to be a master roaster or, or a blender of coffee. I'm kind of, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of just going. I'm saying, you know what? This is a coffee I like. It's one I believe in. And I put my name on it. And a guy like Logan took a chance with me on it. And this may work and it may not work. But you know what? I got some great coffee. And, um, you know, I'm going to enjoy it. So I hope folks will enjoy it too. Um, Pricing of the coffee. Let me just talk a little about the pricing. The rumor free coffee is uh, for a 12 ounce bag, $14.95. The Coop's Kona blend, a little more expensive, $18.95. Getting the Kona blends were in there. You know, when you start buying good Kona coffees, you're getting into excess of $30 to $35 a pound with, with, to get that. So the Kona blend is going to be a little more expensive. Um, the dark roast is going to be a little more affordable. Again, I want to keep these affordable, but if you're looking at um, if you're looking at um, if you're looking at comparing this to Folgers, uh, you know again we're looking at premium roast coffees here. Um, and and here's the other thing, that, and I'm glad Crux is in the room because Crux my man. I was at the I was at the IPCBR trade show this year uh, in Las Vegas, and you would not believe the line at the Starbucks, okay. There were people, the line at the Starbucks rivaled the Apple store when they have a new device out there. That people wanted that Starbucks coffee. Now, Starbucks is totally anti-tobacco, but I also get it's also a business choice what they do. But I don't know, people, they wax poetic about this Starbucks, right? They got to have this Starbucks. And then, again, I see them critiquing a cigar company or critiquing a media guy like myself. Um in terms of doing a coffee. Again, I, you know, I, don't, I don't get it. So I, I, I kind of feel, I'm going to go in my soapbox and just say, I don't get it. I'm not here to make money. I'm not here. You don't want to buy the coffee. I have no problem with it. You know, I'll give you a challenge point anyway. So that's not, that's not what I'm looking to do. It's about, I'm trying to build some brand awareness. And even if you see the fact that I have a coffee out there. Now, Logan wants to sell coffee, so <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. That. But I think you can get some great coffee uh, with this as well. But again, you know, I, I want people to kind of believe in what we're doing on Cigar Coop, Prime Time, Prime Time Special Edition. And that's what I want um, I want folks to do. So, you know, give me, and then you may come back with the feedback and say this coffee totally sucks. Now, what you're seeing here happen is, again, you can't see it, but there's like, it's starting to get a brown amber here. And that's kind of starting to tell you that now the water is kind of circulating through in here. And there's a really, I mean, if you smell the aroma in this right now, I wish there was a smell feature on um, on the Facebook Live feature because, man, this is this is smelling really really good. Um, yeah, I, I, you know what I need? I need a cigar, but um, this is this is Mrs. Cigar Coop's territory, so we can't touch that. Now. But um, we're cool with you know you know don't want to do that. She'll what she'll do is she'll make eggs in here on me if I smoke a cigar, and I hate to smell the eggs. I'll lose out. So, yeah, I don't like eggs. So, you know, I got the, the men cave out in the Cigar Coop offices that will really uh, enjoy that, right? So, um, you know, and I'm seeing a lot of people want to try the coffee. Again, if you go to cigar coop, cigar-coop.com, click the coffee link at the top and order. You can order it. Um, again, you only can get right now the Kona blend. So once the other one is out there, the Rumor Free Tea, the Free Dark Roast, we'll do another video. And we'll kind of start talking about that as well. And um, this coffee's starting to really get close here. I'm gonna actually grab the cup, so to speak. Um, I have a nice clear, nice clear cup we'll use. So you can actually see we'll have this thing nice and black, but but I want this coffee to get piping hot. I want it to get a little darker. I tend to, I tend to like to a little bit of an overbrew, just so to speak, not too much, but I like to get the coffee kind of to its peak. You know, growing up in New York, you'd walk down the street 
and it's like that chock full of nuts burn, burn um, smell. That's kind of, but I don't want to quite get it that burnt yet, but but it's going to be, you know, really, really good. So, again, you know, this is Will here. I'm, uh, how many people actually tuned into this is beyond me, but, um, again, um, yeah, we're talking uh, coffee tonight. I'm talking specifically on uh, a Coop's Corner Bun, which is what we're brewing up. It's almost ready. I mean, I'm, I'm fired up, getting ready to go, you you know. And I'm not, like I said, feel free. You don't have to order this coffee, but you know, if, you, if someone you know is a coffee person, tell them about it. This is a, like I said, it's a blend of Kona and Nicaraguan coffee, which, like I said, I don't know many people who dislike either two of those types of coffees. So, um, you know, it's good. And, you know, I'm going to be getting some more coffees. We'll do some giveaways uh, on the primetime and primetime special edition. And um, I actually, as folks know, we're not doing shows this week. So we are actually um, taking a break because I'm traveling on Wednesday. And um, again, thanks to everyone who showed their support. Uh, had a couple of mishaps last week uh, physically with some exhaustion followed by a, a, a uh, car accident, um, which I'm doing great. So I'm feeling great today. Thanks. So, uh, but next week we have uh, a big show lined up. Um, Bear and I were just talking prior to me coming on here about Tuesday's show. We are going to do a, a baseball feature on Tuesday's show because um, we lost Darren Dutch Dalton yesterday, um, the heart and soul of the 93 Phillies team, which I'm a big Phillies fan. And uh, I'm going to talk about that 93 team, which in my opinion was, was the most fun team to never win a championship. Um, so we'll talk about that team and Dutch Dalton. You know, they, they, they weren't cigar guys, but they smoked a lot of cigarettes, which I'm fine with, too. So, we'll have that going as well. Uh, next Thursday, Kevin Schweitzer, Rockefeller Cigars. Um, great story he's got. He is the new owner of Rockefeller Cigars, which is a brand that's been around for a while. And I'm really excited to talk to Kevin. I, I'm real impressed with what I uh, smoked from him right now. So, you, you're going to want to stay tuned to Kevin right now. And uh, to that show with Kevin Thursday on primetime next week. So no shows this week. As you know, on primetime, we're, we're always prepared on primetime. So, you know, you don't have to worry about us getting on a podcast and um, not, not, not being prepared. Uh, um, we have had a couple of snafus, though, with, the, um, with onboarding the guests. And I'm, I'm going to address that significantly this week. Um, we really have to get our guests kind of in a better drill and, and, and understand the importance of starting on time. It's, it's, so that's something we're, we're really working on. Once we get the cameras rolling, I think we've been good as far as content goes, you know. And I, I hate, uh, you know, I hate not being, but we, I think Aaron, Bear, and I, we've always been prepared with that. And, and if we're not prepared with our show, let us know as well. But I think we've done a really good job. And we'll always know what we're smoking. If we ever talk about a cigar, we're always gonna know what that cigar is. Um, I'll just kind of, you know, you can't go on and talk on a cigar show and not know what you smoke. I understand that once in a while, when it's four, five, six cigars, and you don't know what you're smoking, I don't know, I just, you know, so, I, that, that's, that's kind of my soapbox thing right now. Make sure, you know, and there's a lot of great shows that do a good job at, at certainly knowing what they smoke, so, we're scratching. But, I think right now, I'm getting to the point where this coffee is ready, so I'm actually going to, Turn this off, and we'll kind of take a look at it. Sometimes you got to be a little careful because um, if it's not ready, it, uh, yeah, you didn't have to put it back on. But I'm kind of in a sense that it's ready. As you see, so what I do normally is I'll just pour a little into a cup to see the consistency. And it's got a nice color to it, so. What we'll do is we will remove the basket, and you take the basket, and I advise you let it drain in the sink at the top. But look at that! Look at that coming right out of there. Oh, it, this is this is like old school coffee right there. So what we'll do. It's really good. The light is kind of. Uh, Give it a little bit of an amber color, but it is, it is, this is a 
The tattoo looks a little lighter when I look at it here, but um, it, it's ready. Very smooth. This is not going to be an overpowering coffee. It's a good morning coffee, but it's a very smooth coffee. Um, I don't. I thought if you could drink it black without any sweetener, it would be. Uh, it's perfect. But this is not going to be a heavy coffee by any means. It's got a little touch of sweetness to it, but not. Not. It's a natural sweetness. Uh, it almost is like um, like a berry, but not an overly ripe berry. But not. I guess that's the that's way I'm putting it. But this is some good coffee, and uh, I, I look forward to hearing your feedback on it, whether you like it or don't like it. Uh, let me know. And um, again, what's happening on Cigar Poop this week, real quick, um, we have some more IT Cigar reports coming up. We're going to continue the, uh, the product breakdowns. We've added more in terms of Spotlight this week. So you'll see more Spotlight reports in there where we try to look at some booths and look at some themes. So we do spotlights for all our sponsors and some of our select uh, strategic partners we do as well. Um, then Thursday I take a trip up to Connecticut and we'll be back uh, for the weekend to do uh, Smooth Growers Radio. So um, that's it for tonight. Uh, again, give the coffee a try. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon.